everyone, Genesis Rider here with another tips and tricks video. This time we'll be analyzing a very um, kind of advanced opening rush strategy I use consistently in Halo 2 Anniversary on the map Stone Town. This is a remake of Zanzibar from Halo 2 Classic and of Last Resort from Halo 3. Now this opening rush strategy is really, really useful and I don't see a lot of players using it. So I'm going to walk you through it step by step. In this particular game, I get 26 kills, zero deaths. The gameplay, the full gameplay itself is not that interesting, but the opening rush strategy is literally what led to me getting that kind of score to end this game. This is a big team battle gameplay. You can use this opening rush strategy in Team Slayer, one bomb, and one flight on this map as long as you're spawning beach. You want to immediately go for the ghost, holding down the button you use to get in vehicles so that as soon as you're close enough to the ghost to get in it, you will. Then you want to be holding down the button to boost so that you can boost very, very quickly to this little archway here. Stop boosting, turn as you near the archway, boost through the archway and this little second archway. Then you're going to get out right as you reach this stairway. Now you always get out on the right hand side of the ghost in Halo 2 Anniversary. In Halo 2 Classic you get out on the left side. If someone wants to comment down below and tell me how you can manipulate which side of the ghost you get out on by something you do with your character, I'd be really interested in hearing it because so far I haven't found anything. But anyway, I'm going to jump up this little stairway, saving time instead of you know walking up the stairway. Then I'm going to jump up here, landing on top of the rocket launcher as I switch weapons to my SMG, trading my SMG for the shotgun. I'm then going to back up a little bit behind this rock. And this is the all you really need to back up. You want to be a few steps from the rock. I'm going to run forward. These few steps will allow me to gain full momentum before jumping. I'm going to crouch jump on top of this rock. And then continuing forward, I'm going to run with my left analog movement stick. Uh, completely pressed forward the entire time I'm doing this. Crouch jump again up onto this bridge. Let's go. There you go. Now I see a grenade indicator pop up there as I jump up, so I, I'm thinking maybe they're going to grenade me again. So I hesitate slightly with my entrance to co top camo tower to grab this camo. You're, there's going to be a lot of players normally looking at you from the top of this base here as they exit out. So I'm going to run over here, grab camo, drop down, and kill this guy who I saw on my radar a little bit earlier, backing up here uh, to right here as I jump up. I can see this guy on my radar. That's what you want to be watching as you grab camo and drop. You don't want to stay on the top of the tower because people will easily be able to kill you from top base. So I'm going to shotgun this guy and kill him. Drop down here. I'm going to reload my shotgun and I'm going to grab the battle rifle ammo right here. And then on top of that, let my camo reconfigure around my armor. What I mean by that is that I go back into camo after firing a shot, which took me out of camo. So I'm then going to look top rockets from this bottom angle. And you can see how I'm almost completely covered in this bottom room area and how I have a very uh, brief window uh, to look top center. It allows me to be very protected and watch my radar closely so I'm not ambushed and I stay alive while confusing the heck out of the people who are top rockets. I'm going to lay down some shots in this player as I eventually push back up to top camo tower watching my radar and keeping an eye on this player. Now what I'm about to do is a pretty advanced little nifty outsmart maneuver that you can pull off and I'd highly recommend doing so. One shotgun blast to this little red switch drops this bridge and when you drop this bridge especially this early in the game especially after the pl this particular player has been shot from the camo tower that player is going to assume that you're pushing across the bridge and you can confuse the living heck out of them by doing what I'm about to do here, which is not go over the bridge, but instead jump on top of the turbine as it's rotating over. Now notice my radar, notice how I'm outsmarting this guy, and I fake slightly around the pillar here. This guy has not a clue in the world what's going on, not a clue that I have camo, much less shotgun. I easily get the kill on him. Now up to this point in the film, this is the opening rush strategy I very consistently use on Stone Town when I spawn on beach, as I said at the beginning of this video. The slight remainder tips and tricks that I'm going to show you in this video are not necessarily what I perform every single game. They just turned out in the very lucky fashion you're about to see, and I thought I'd include them at the end here 
because it might provide you with that much more help in your online matchmaking gameplay. So I can immediately see that the rockets have been taken. Nowhere in sight. Okay, And I notice this guy doesn't have rockets. He has a BR. Okay, I can kind of notice that via the sound cues I'm hearing while he's firing the battle rifle. So I throw a grenade to kind of push them back and confuse him as I'm dropping back. I'm expecting him to drop down. Um, he, the grenade doesn't quite hit him. But one of the reasons, just a pro tip here on the side, don't ever drop this bridge. There's no need to. You can use it as cover, and it's really useful. And um, on top of that, there's no need to because you can jump across this gap as you're about to see me do here. From the top portion here or the lower portion, you can jump across either way, and it doesn't matter. But this camel play really works out for me. Notice how I'm, I'm staying slightly crouched behind the bridge so that they don't really see me on my radar. It's very important to pause like this briefly when you have camo and there's a radar available for the enemy player. This guy almost kills me by switching to his rockets. But I want to give you a little insight in how I get the 26 kill, zero death, invincible perfection, or I'm sorry, untouchable perfection that I do get in the rest of this gameplay. I do that by simply grabbing camo every time it spawns. Camo lasts for 45 seconds. After 45 seconds, you have 30 seconds once your camo has uh, deconfigured around your armor and has faded, um, you have about 30 seconds before the next camo comes up. So you can basically time it every time very easy. Now, the rocket ammo is right here. So you can basically guess how I get the perfection. I just grab camo every time it, every time it comes up, run across this little bridge, um, you know, make sure that this area is open, then drop down to this area, run over, grab the rocket ammo when I have one or fewer rockets so that when I pick up the Ropka ammo in these rocks, which is not currently visible because the enemy player has them, so that I get four rockets. Again, I'm going to repeat that. When you have one or fewer rockets remaining, no rockets remaining, and you pick up the rocket ammo in these rocks, you get four rockets instead of only getting two. It's very important to realize once you grab them, jump on top of this box, jump up top here, then on top of this little ledge and crouch jump up between these two cylinders. Obviously, you don't want to be firing while doing this so that you're in complete camo the entire time. And then you make your way back to camo tower. By that time, the camo should be close to being up again. Now, I hope this video was helpful to you. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching very much. And I'll see you on the next capture or whatever in the recording. Peace, guys.